what just happened this boat just died with a battery that saw them on the side of the road so the car was pushed was pushed down <laughs> it was pushed down to the charging station so man all right let me get out of the car maybe i can help him out So what I will leave you channel so today I am going on another road trip yes another road trip again and this time I will be taking my 2024 Kia EV9 with me and uh, right now the car I just got home from work and it is charging uh, when I was checking the the display it said it would take about four hours uh 25 minutes but right now it is going to take four hours to reach the 100 percent. i'm going to charge it 100 percent. this is the only time i will do that um, after that it's going to be 90 percent uh whenever i get to the electrify america charging station so right now it is uh, currently at a uh, 63 percent and i have an estimated range of 170 87 miles and uh, I am using my Tesla universal wall charger, which is charging at 11.2 kilowatt. And I already added uh, 488 miles in total. Well, I got it when I, I got it with 13 miles on it. So, uh, car is doing good. And another thing, just to let you guys know, for the EV9, the car works, I mean, the charges, uh, the EVSC works great. As soon as I plug it in, it starts, it's plug and play. So, um, so just like you are an EV9 owner and you want to try a Tesla universal wall charger or connector, it works. Okay. You don't have to do any play to it or whatever. It works. All right. Uh, I, the key I need to do something with the EV6 whereby they have to fix the issue. I'm, I'm assuming it's a bug that is causing that issue. But anyway, um, I'll be back when this car is fully charged in the morning and uh, and we get on the road. See you at that time. So I got my LED lights, door sill right here. I had to put it here because I don't want to move this plastic sill yet. So I'll figure what I'm going to do later on with that. So, all right, I'll be back, guys. All right, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to back. So the car is fully charged and I'm about to go ahead and uh, unplug. Let's see here. Uh, I need to go ahead and unlock first. It is foggy out there. It is almost 5 a.m. Eastern time. Okay. Yeah, let me go ahead and unplug. All right, that. Universal wall connector It's fully charged 100% and when I plugged it in it it was showing Actually when I checked on the half the range was showing an estimated range of 304 miles So let me go ahead and put this, put this cable back in there All right, So I'm going up the up northeast and uh, and to visit some friends and take care of some where is the phone oh no <laughs> uh, that is not gonna be good I might need to get the key file take the key file with me because the phone locked I mean I can't man, I can't really use the app either because the phone is locked oh I can use my watch Forgot. Anyway, but I'll still take it with me just in case. All right, so car, the cabin is warm, and uh, let me start to fire up the car. 
and I'll turn the all right let me all right let's see here it is off and uh, heat or AC on I am getting exactly 300 and uh, four miles at 100 percent so and um, I'm going to the um, up, up, up north area Maryland area so I go usually go around the same miles 400 is it 400 miles or so so I will see how this is gonna how the car will perform and uh, the, how efficient it's gonna be and also the charging session I will be using Elite for America um, that's the only option that I have well, there are other, but that's my will be my best option. So I will be stopping probably usual, at the usual places, according to the better route planner. When I put it in, even with the car too, it is recommended I stop in Virginia. Actually, um, where I believe well, since I have full charge, we'll see how that's gonna work. So, uh, anyway. If this is your first time, view my channel, subscribe, like, and uh, hit the notification bell. Check out my other video, road trip videos. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you, guys. Uh, so I got all my stuff, sleeping gear in here, uh, the air mattress. And I'll see if the air mattress that I have for the EV6 will work for this one. If not, I'm really looking for a different one. But I'll see if it is still, if it still fit, then it is good. If not, then I need to look for another one. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm looking for more accessories right now. The only ones that I've been able to find are just a floor mat. Nothing else yet. So uh, I'll keep looking. The dealership price are a little bit overpriced. So, you know, anyway. Let's go down the road and uh, enjoy the view. All right. Welcome back. So right now I already set my destination and uh, I changed this uh, charging station to only Electrify America because it was putting me everywhere like Wawa and stuff. Um, no, I mean um, EV Go, Wawa. So it's going to take me seven hours and... Uh, 52 minutes hopefully it doesn't good take that way so uh let's see here all right let me go back so i want you to stop by at the uh, hillsborough and if america is not that shit unless they moved <laughs> so it's it recommends that i stop by in hillsborough Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the America sheet. Okay, yes. Hillsborough. I, I was thinking about um, Henderson. Uh, Hillsborough. And um, stop at the uh, America in Richmond. And then charge in that PG Mall. There's Lifetime America there, I guess. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, I will skip the shit. Well, I I'll follow it so that I figure and see whether there is. Um... Okay. Oh, that's the destination. That's what I'm doing. PG Mall. All right. So. Yeah. But I only get to try twice. All right. So I will stop at Sheets gas station. Let me see now. I'll skip this one. I'll skip it. And uh, let me see here. No. Oh, I'll put in my own guidance. Let's see. Here. Still recommend it. Heels bow. All right. Anyway, so let me get on the road and uh, and I'll be back when I get on the highway. All right. Welcome back. So I am about to get on the highway. I-85 North. And um, 
It is foggy out there. It rained yesterday. It wasn't that much. And, um, but it was still, it was warm. It was in the 70s, I believe. So, right now, I am an highway. Man, $3.29. Gizzle, three ninety three eighty nine. I don't know. <laughs> Gas price is expensive, though. But anyway. Uh, so, right now, the current state of charge is 79%. I mean, sorry. 97% state of charge and estimated range of 289 miles. So when I left the house, it's like once I switch everything off, it increased a little bit to like 308. And then as soon as I started driving, it started, you know, I mean, I'm already six miles, 10 miles into this. So. Yeah, this is about, about accurate. So right now, the odometer is uh, 496 miles. And the current temperature outside right now is 58 degrees Fahrenheit. I am driving on eco mode and uh, just controlling the vehicle right now. The car is not on. Um, it's not on highway driving assistant yet. I will go ahead and switch that on. So, and right now I just did that. So let me see. Why is it increasing into two? Let me see here. Okay, I don't know why it's increasing into one distance. All right. All right. So I'm gonna bring it over and show you guys. I would drive an assistant is on and I am using the onboard uh, nav EV navigation route planner. I might try and skip the Electrify America in Hillsboro. I don't know. Because I, I tried to avoid the one in, uh, in Richmond. But according to Electrify America, about a month or a month and a half ago, they, according to Electrify America, they claimed that they fixed the issue that it was a power company, because they blamed the power company for not providing, you know, enough power for them to be able to deliver energy to here, charging stations, but anyway, I guess I can give it a try and see maybe it's still the same or not. Actually, I'm gonna check the app just to make sure everything is all okay before I get there. So, um, the vehicle is warmed up, I preheat the cabin, and uh, if not, I can still turn the let me turn the heat, the heated seat on, and uh. I'm just enjoying the view. Um, it should be daylight very so right now it's at 5 19 a.m. Eastern time. So and it says I will arrive at 12 36 p.m. I'll just say I'll arrive there around 12. I mean uh, 1 p.m. Hopefully if the Virginia traffic it's not horrendous or terrible. I forgot that it can shift on its own. I right, let it move back. Let me check. And it is doing that on its own. And, and it shifted. Good. All right, anyway. I'll be back with the uh, 75% update. Or if anything changes or if the driving situation improves and I'll be right back enjoy the view
all right welcome back welcome back so right now i am at 75 percent state of charge and uh, estimated range 215 miles right now i am in um high point area i don't know if you can see this and i was just watching my video of the ev9 if you haven't watched that go ahead and check it out um so i posted that video this morning and i worked really hard to put that out there quick as quickly as possible because i am running behind on <laughs> um, a video project so it's like it's like every video that you've seen some of them might be like maybe a month uh a month in advance that I've recorded it or a couple of weeks, I've maybe a couple of weeks old. So um it's just only me doing this. So but anyway, I try I had to put this out of it because if not it's gonna be like two or three weeks old video. <laughs> so um hopefully this one is not that old it's gonna be that late either. Hopefully time permits. Um I have to help my wife and with the kids. Um so anyway so right now the vehicle has been doing an average of uh, 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour and I've been driven uh, hour eight minutes and uh, six to seven miles into this after charging so and I've been doing an average of 75 miles per hour since for about for about maybe uh let's see 64 miles or so yeah well maybe 64 60, i mean 64 maybe 62 miles or so something like that but car's been doing great the highway driving assistance doing great i'm surprised that it did very great though because um the link uh Keep assist is great. Um, what they call it, lane changing. I don't know what it's called, but I will. Yeah, I'm not thinking out of my head right now. Um, you know, the lane change also work. Um, it kind of it shifts quicker, which is great because that's what you want. Like, you know, wanted to see because when I started it initially, when I started driving it, it was kind of sluggish. I guess maybe. I, I'm not sure. I have to take a look at it and see if this vehicle has. I heard they have some AI um, with the uh, highway driving assistant, so it is learning. The camera is learning. I'm not sure, but I believe that's what it is because when I tried to use it on the highway or Charlotte area, it was struggling to to move to the to wherever I signal to. But this time it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you guys. So let me let me move to the left. As you can see. Okay, it wants me to hold the steering. Okay. Now it is moving. And once I turn it off, and it's still and it's straight on the road. So yeah, how would driving assistant? Going great and with the lane changing feature. I like that the EV6 doesn't have that unless you have the GT line or the GT So I like this extra feature that was added to it So just to let you guys know if you're using the phone as key Make sure you don't leave the car um, I mean the phone in the car, okay, and what happened to me this morning? I used the remote to unlock the car from the house I, I left it in the house because i was trying to use the phone as a key when i unlocked it to remove the charging station uh the outlet from what am i talking about remove uh, uh disconnect the char uh the charger from uh from the vehicle and it automatically locked back and it locked the phone inside the car so I had to go back and get a key. So right now I have a key file with me just in case. I don't want to lock myself out. I'm going on a road trip. And the last thing I need is to get stranded or have to call uh, roadside assistance or lock the car. So, or, I mean, I do have my phone on my watch, the app on my watch. So maybe that might be, I'm going to try it. I'll try it and see. I'm going to, I'll try and see if that's going to work. That would be something else that I have to do. Okay. So 
stay tuned for that right now 72 percent state of charge and estimated range of 206 miles so my next stop will be so I, right now i'm currently in greensboro north carolina so my next stop should be i believe it is asking that i stop it is telling me to stop at um okay so now it said and so i'm stopping at in henderson okay great so i'm i'll be stopping in henderson instead of uh hillsborough because that's what i wanted i, I want to see how far I, this car can go i know it can't achieve it if, if i want to really want to pull it or you push it i can go all the way as far as richmond if i really want to do it but i don't want to go down with a low state of charge so i'm just going to continue with the vehicle right i, I altered the, the the trip a little bit so for me to stop in anderson so I will continue with that. I will try Delta Fry America and Richmond to see how it works, whether they fix the issue or the issue still persists. So, so I will find out when I get there. <laughs> so, hopefully, they fix the issue. If not, I'm gonna put them on blast, <laughs> like the last time. Okay, I'm sure they're tired of that. I mean, listen, they, they are. I mean, Delta Fry America is the, the best choice out there right now. With especially with we, the owner of uh 800 volt vehicles that you can charge really fast. I mean, I charge, charge my vehicle, my EV6 with Tesla, and I can only get 97 uh, 97 kilowatt. But that 97 kilowatt was consistent with the charging curve, it's like it, it was there for a while, so it's not like maybe it was going up and down, dropping. No, it was consistent, so that is good. And it, it was like it was like almost the same. Charging session time for the charging session whenever I spend on Life for America. It would be nice if you like for America. Oh, that's it. for America over there in Greensboro. <laughs> I stopped there the last time on my road trip. So, um, so yeah, maybe this uh, EV9 would be different. So we'll see. And I'll record a charging curve. I didn't take out the my action camera <laughs> so that I can use that to record. So. I'll be back with 50% update, or I believe I'm supposed to arrive there with 50%. Let me see. Uh, more info. He's still saying, oops. Uh oh. All right, it is recommending that I stop at Hillsborough. But I do not want to stop at Hillsboro. No, I don't. So. All right. I'll be back. And uh, just to add to it, and another feature that I noticed, you, I can manually switch on the battery condition because I, I accidentally turned it. I thought maybe I was supposed to uh, switch it on. I mean, it automatically will come on once I select that, you know, battery condition, uh, battery precondition should come on. But I believe I somehow activated, manually activated the battery preconditioning because I saw that happen uh, a few days ago. So I will see if that's going to come on. If not, then I will go all the way to Hillsborough, I mean, Henderson and switch it on. All right. Yeah, I've gone to about five minutes, almost six. Anyway, I'll be back with another update.
All right, welcome back, welcome back. All right now, let me turn the light on. All right, so right now I am in uh, Durham, North Carolina, and uh, the current state of charge right now is 50% state of charge, and that's the mid range of of 140 miles. So let me go ahead and bring the camera over. So right now, as you can see, let's see right there, it shows I'm in Durham, a kind of liner, and it's getting a little bit of daylight out there. Um, car's been doing great, so maintaining uh, around 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour so right now my total trip is uh, almost two hours is an uh, hour 57 minutes and I already in uh, in the total trip of a hundred and sixty a hundred and twenty six twenty seven miles and I still have a uh, two hundred and seventy six miles to go and this is the battery information right right here so I am going to see if the battery precondition is going to come on because I have 36.7 miles to go, but that hasn't come on yet. So if it didn't come on you know, within the next 20, within uh, I mean the next 10 miles, I will go ahead and uh, manually switch on the battery preconditioning feature because uh, when I remember the last time I did that. I thought maybe I was just trying to activate it, but it's pretty much I was manually activating battery preconditioning. So, which is good, you know. So, um, I'll be back with another update. If this is your first time viewing this channel, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Check out my road trip videos for my previous uh, vehicle EV6 charging session videos. Accessory videos, installation, uh, EVSC installation and uh, reviews, EVSC charging adapter reviews. So check out the videos and uh, hit the thumbs up, the like button, and also drop comment if you have a question. You know, if you have any suggestion, drop the comment there. Uh, thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. If you have subscribed, subscribe to the video that helps this channel. I really appreciate that. So. Um, Right now, the current state of charge forty nine percent, an estimated range of a hundred and thirty seven miles. Uh, the current temperature right now in Durham is sixty one. Wow, sixty one degrees. It feels cold. <laughs> sixty one degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So let me turn around. Let's get see. I'm exiting Durham right now. Um, heading towards the next town, Oxford area. So I believe. I'll be there in a few. So somehow I couldn't get the split screen to work with the ways. Maybe the mind have to do a software update for that, for you to be able to use that. So, all right, guys. See you in the next update. So I will arrive according to the route planner. I will arrive the location with thirty. Let me see here, about thirty percent or so. So thirty well right now it's thirty one percent. So I will arrive in the Tri America and Henderson with thirty one percent. Um and it will take me twenty eight minutes to charge, almost thirty minutes. And the next one also is almost thirty minutes at the Lynch America in Richmond. And it says I'll arrive that there with a forty percent. So I will see whether it's gonna get better. So. All right, I'll be back with more of it. All right, so I um I took a different route, the route I usually take. So 
I decided to manually activate the battery preconditioning and it came on. So I decided to turn it off and it switched off at uh I turned it on around forty one percent and it switched off around thirty thirty six percent. Right now I have uh Uh, Thirty-three percent state of charge, an estimated range of eighty-two miles. So I'm almost at the Walmart, America, at uh, Walmart. So I'm almost there right now. So I'm about to arrive there. Uh, I don't think there's any vehicle there, which is good. So I can. Let's fully use the 350 kilowatt. Yeah, birds, birds, birds. And they run into the. So you can see the front view. Yep. No vehicle there. Just me, myself. Alright, let me see here. Um, I'll park over there. All right, so after the charge, since I left the house, um, it took me 160, 30.6 miles to get here, two hours, 30 minutes, and I was in an average of 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour. I arrived here with 33%, so I did better than what it predicted, so that's 50% better than what it predicted, and uh, I have 81%, so let me go ahead and... Uh, Get charges that I can go. Open up the charge board. Take me 28 minutes as the car predicted. So 18 minutes to 90 percent, and uh, that would have been great. I mean, I don't have to I just keep going if I really want to do it. So right now, I'm just gonna go to Walmart, use the restroom, and uh, see what I can get. So it is predicting that I will get 263 miles. And ninety percent, and the charging speed is ramping up. So what I'm going to do is uh record the charging speed on my actual phone camera. So let me go ahead and do that. So right now I'm just putting this right here, the right there, right there. Right there. Right there. So I and then the the maximum charging speed of so what? Right now we have one at times so what? This is great. Um, let me just turn on the phone. I just have the remote on. Yeah, All right, it's going up to three oh three. Three oh four. I mean two oh four. Two oh three. Two oh four. Uh, what I can do is, uh, of course, from the back over there. So let me go ahead and see if I can. All right, let me see here. Where's my microphone? All right, let's see. You were surprised what just happened. This bolt just died. 
with a battery. That's what I'm on the side of the road. So the car was pushed. It was pushed down. It was pushed down. To the charging station. So. Oh. Right, let me get out of the car. Maybe I can help him out. Let's see here. Okay. Oops. Oh, man. Right now, you need help pushing? Yeah. Oh, man. He's not going to drive at all? He's not going to drive? Mm -hmm. No, too? Okay. You got it? Yeah. All right, let's see. You ready? Parking brake, uh, you have to release the parking brake. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, close the door and see if that will. All right, I think the parking, now it's off. Okay. Okay, let's go. No, 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 don't come out, don't come out. Don't worry, I got it, it's going. You just have, you have to release the parking brake. Okay, just stay in the car, that's okay. Now it's, I'll uh, put a neutral again. It's in neutral. It's in park. Oh, no. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Yeah, don't come out once you get it done. All right, now, don't come out. Just That's why you're good. I oh, know, I think. Hold on a sec. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. No, nope, now it's not going. <laughs> um, all right, let's try it again. And it was going. Okay, now, just, just, yeah, just keep going. To, just step on the brakes once you get there. All right, good. No problem. No problem. Yeah, you, you don't want to um, wait till the battery is really low. So you have to give yourself at least 20% into it. Okay. I did. I actually had enough to get back, but then when I, when I got close, mm -hmm. I had 17 minutes left. And I was nine minutes away. But it, it, yeah, if you go fast, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna deplete the battery too. So uh, whenever you have a situation like that, just go as slow as you can. Turn the AC or heat on off. Uh, you might turn the AC warm on if you have that, just for you to get to the next location. But yeah, you don't want to keep getting letting it run drains out because it's going to affect the battery. So, uh, but... I don't know if you're going to reach or whatever, or you're just driving around. No, I'll be staying for work. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't and you can't, and you can't charge it at work? There's no charger at work, I guess? No, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, it tells you, it tells you, it tells you you got this amount, but yeah. you, don't, you don't have, you don't have it. Yet. You don't have it. Yeah, usually it might predict, but, and that depends on your driving habit as well. So if you're going too fast, it's, it, it will predict, but by the time you know you don't have enough range. Um, and I don't know if you have a charger at home or not, but uh, it did really just charge up to like 80% every so this charges automatically, or you have to do it? The plug-in charger. Yeah, I don't think the G. Oh, okay. This thing is annoying. Yeah, it is. It is annoying when the yeah when it, it runs out of energy. So, but you probably have to plan um plan your charger. But if you have a charger at home, you can always get one. Um, I don't know if you have a garage or somewhere for you to park, or if you live in an apartment. But if you have one. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Well. I believe I saw you on the on the side of the road. It's like I don't know whether it's the hill. Yeah, on the side. On the side. On the yeah, I believe. So. Right. I I'm just stopping by the charge. Where are you coming from? Charlotte. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Shit, I'm going the opposite way, so I should go up north. You going back to Charlotte then? No. Uh -uh. Okay. I am. All right, so I am back. I had to help the gentleman push the bolt <laughs> to the charge install. So he is using it for Uber. Uh, I guess he said his car is in a shop, and that's the car he got from a rental car. So, and uh, yeah, he drove it to the battery down. <laughs> and that's not a good advice. Don't ever drive it to zero unless you know you're closer to a charging station. He said he was there, but he wasn't driving efficient. But let me see here the restroom. Let's just restroom quick. All right. Good morning. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I got a few more minutes to go. I believe the last time I checked was 15 minutes left, so let me go ahead and uh, use the restroom quick. Let me look around and see if I can get some bargain clothing at the Walmart. Trust me, they do have some good bargain in the class. All right, I'll be according to this app right now, I have 84%. Uh, Charge 
and 22 minute charging time and I already added 58.59 kilowatt hour so I got a couple of minutes left so let me check let me check the car app so I have five minutes so I already added to her in the 44 miles. So let me go ahead and uh, look at what I what they have here before I leave. All right, I am back. So car should be ready to go. And uh, like that, EV9. So. Yep, so let me go back, so back, so back. So let's see. I'm at 88% right now. Got two more minutes to go, if that's the case. So right now it is charging, and uh, got a camera recording there. 40 kilowatt and I already added 62.73 kilowatt hour so the six minute charging time so I'm going to go ahead and unlock the door okay car is unlocked and this is the boat right here so it is charging and let's see yeah, it's charging it's going to move fast at 52 kilowatt it started at zero it's gonna take him how long to charge to any of them say. <laughs> but it's set to 80%, so uh, yeah. Alright. Okay. I'm almost done. Almost done. Whew, man. So, subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time viewing the channel, subscribe and like the video. Also, drop a comment, you know, about the charging speed. I will post the charging speed, whatever I got from uh, the camera. I will post that in the corner for you guys to see. So, right now, it is dropping down. So, let me see the top charging speed that I was getting that the car got uh, uh, I have to wait till I finish I can tell me so right now it said I will only get 58 258 miles of estimated range I think it just stopped I just heard yep it just stopped so let me go ahead. Nope, not yet. Okay, now it's complete. Okay, so let's go. All right, so let me go ahead and unplug. And plug it in. And that's closed. And uh, so right now I was able to start it at 33% to 90%. And it took me 28 minutes as it predicted. And so it cost me $37 and some change. A little bit more than, uh, much more than, well, since they increased the price more than what I used to charge my EV6. And I was able to add 64.2810 kilowatt hour. So I'm out of here. This time is wrong. Then to fix that. Am I? No, yeah, the time is wrong. All right, let's get on the road. I wish the guy best luck. Charge the vehicle. <laughs> uh, hopefully, whatever tip I give to him helps. When it comes to driving, being efficient with the vehicle, and uh, not 
driving the car all the way to zero. <laughs> so let me go ahead and put in the Pasco. All right. And I'm going to stop by Burger King, get something to eat, and be on my way. Alright, about to exit. I'm going to stop by Burger King, get something to eat. Because it's telling me to go over there. I bet you that I got before that Burger King first. All right, so I'm going to get some to eat, and I will be back with more update. All right, welcome back, welcome back. So I just got news. Okay, I need to check on this. <laughs> A couple monoxide stuff that I had on. I kind of hit something, hit something, and it is beeping. Because I will be having that in the car uh, when I turn the. So I'm good. I need to park and check and see. I think it is pressing on something. I mean, there's some something is pressing on it. Maybe not. Yep, it is still doing it. So I'm gonna park somewhere. Uh, everything's falling off. What in the world? Alright, let me park here and see what's going on. Alright, so something fell off here. I don't know what fell. Oh, oh let me just a cable. The charger cable. Let me. Oh, it's a straw. Ah, everything's falling up. All right, so yeah, I just dropped that on there without even. So that's why I was pressing on the one, of the, the bags. I didn't even mention what I had inside the car. So I do have my air mattress. The air mattress in the back in, in the trunk. I did. I believe I mentioned that in the begin at the beginning of the video. I got an air mattress. I have the level two. I have. I believe I have the. What's my wallet? Okay. Uh, Pion Energy. Is it Pion Power? I believe that's what it is. The the interchangeable uh, cable. In, uh, charger, EVSC charger. I have that, and just in case, who knows? I might need that. And uh, what else? I put a microwave just in case I need to warm some food or whatever. And I got the uh, bed covers, bed sheets, pillows, and stuff. Because I'm gonna be taking a nap in my car. I need to get a hotel. I don't need to. So. Uh, I'm trying to save some money. Anyway, and instead of trying checking in and out and all that stuff, going to the hotel, you don't need all that. So uh, hopefully the air mattress is big enough to fit in there. If not, I will be in a shopping for a better option. But for the meantime, I think it will fit based on what I was looking. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out later tonight. So. Uh, right now, I currently have um, the car is doing at least 2.0 miles per kilowatt hour right now, and I have 262 miles estimated range and 88% uh, uh, state of charge. So let me turn the highway driving assistant on and leave it the way it is at 75. So. 
Um, if you are an EV driver or you want to learn about EVs, if you're still trying to figure out whether you want to get an EV or not, take an EV, uh, electric vehicle on a road trip, just let you know, as long as you're staying around 75 miles per hour, you will get a great range, okay? Now, I mean, if you get less, go less than that, it would be great. But if you go more than 75 miles per hour, you are not going to get in. You're not going to be efficient at all. And you're not going go to go get a great range. So just letting you know, just letting you know, stay within 75 miles per hour and you will get a great range. Especially with the EGMP vehicle, okay? EV6, I mean, even the EV9, I'm sure Ionic 5, Ionic 6 vehicles, and probably other electric vehicles as well. But um, the gentleman that I was talking to that was driving the rental uh, Bolt, I believe he wasn't driving efficiently at all. Um, I hope whatever tips I gave to him, he was able to use that, incorporate that, and so that I won't get stranded or, you know, he will get more range on the boat. So, so right now my next destination will be Richmond. That would be in 85.2 miles or 85.1 miles. So let me turn the camera. As you can see, I'm still in Henderson, North Carolina. And this is the energy information right here. All right, I'll be right back with another update or if anything change, subscribe and like the video.